After I this, I looked, and behold, the door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was, as it were, a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show these things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And that, and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sorting stone. And then there was a rainbow round about in the throne in sight, like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty, I saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne, proceeding lightning and thunder and voices, there were seven lamps, the fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. The anointing and the horns, the horns of the altar, are spoken of in Zechariah, and uh, are are the four anointings that the royal family uh, are going to use. Uh, there are four distinct anointings. They're going to carry people through the the great tribulation. Uh, The, the anointings are the, the, the horns that are on the beast are the ones that um, blaspheme the name of Christ or are at war with uh, the royal family. Uh, it's an uh, anointing used to uh, be an indigent and uh, disobedient unto the calling of Christ uh, because of the indignation that causes the church to rebel uh, that is how the uh, Babylonian leader uh, Barack Obama uh, has been going on path uh, all the way up till recently until breaking of the sixth seal um, with martyrs in the church and everything else uh, So now that these anointings are coming forth uh, from the royal family to speak uh, in love and humanity on how to treat people, uh, they are uh, adorned and loved by God beyond. And uh, they're going to give you their testimony. Uh, the stars of heaven are also going to give testimony when they come here to instruct and to warn and to deliver message and teaching and signs and wonders and uh, <laughs> communication. Uh, uh, communicating the best they can without speaking outside the Spirit of God or an angel. And uh, Um, this is all new uh, from this breaking of the sixth seal. Uh, you're going to see you're gonna stories of people that pass away on heaven uh, contacting people and physically showing up here on earth to deliver messages or uh, even the harbingers, you know. And uh, no worries. Oh, uh, the anointings, the anointings are going forth, or uh, the anointings pouring forth from the elders uh, into the seven lampstands with, uh, or the churches, and uh, 
the seven spirits of God that are going to manifest in the anointed. The more martyrs that there are, the more these these oils, the four oils will pour forth. Uh, you'll see it. They'll be laying hands on people. They're distinct anointings for uh, celibacy and healing. Um, Mary's Joseph is for uh, work, work and counsel. Uh, Jesus is uh, um, the gospel, and James is the brotherhood, brethren, or fellowship. The forty string oils. Uh, Horns of the oil, horns of the altar, the oil pours forth from. And uh, the celibacy from the world. Mary, celibacy from the world, not celibacy from the way you view and most people view celibate people. It's celibacy from the world, not celibacy from life. So I just want to make it clear. Um, well, what scriptures are referring to is Zechariah uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Uh, there's going to be a struggle in the church of them not wanting to conform to the Lamb. They're so uh, indigent. And he is, uh, like in Psalms 1, Psalms 4, Psalms 1, verse 4, uh, he is uh, ruling the rule of iron rod. And uh, he will crack them like pots of clay. And um, he is. And. Um, Real. The kingdom of heaven is going to be the kingdom of God, right on the holy mountain. It has, it is, in uh, Barack Obama, like it's spoken of, is causing people to fall through, through behestment, is really manifested. But they'll be forgiven and be able to go back to heaven. We're blessing them back. That's how powerful the blessing is. Uh, you're going to see signs and wonders uh, beyond. Uh, you'll know when they're lying, signs and wonders, because uh, you'll be able to discern clearly. The ones that say I'm Christ, but aren't are those ones using a false anointing, or uh, they're not... Uh, they're not Christ's anointed ones. They're not uh, full of the oil and moving forward in obedience to Christ. They're doing their own thing and chopping, sizzling, maintaining. Uh, they're doing what they want to do instead of what he wants them to do. And um, that's the difference in oils. Uh, you know the real anointing when you encounter it. Um, it's so true and powerful um, move of God that um, that's why you'll be able to discern and um, um, Abomination that causes desolation is breaking up and disbanding of the body of Christ. When 
is either breaking up with the body of Christ, run to Judea. That's where Jesus is. How the stronghold's gonna be? Of, uh, I can't talk about it yet. But there's gonna be something in Judea. I can't talk about it. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.